Hello class, uh, good morning, Sir GV again. So let's proceed with the uh, MathCAD program uh, concerning uh, the elimination method, uh, specifically the Gaussian elimination technique, which I presented in my last uh, video. So the matrix I chose is uh, the same uh, matrix we So last time, uh, this augmented matrix AB, uh, but this time we're going to use a, a program, huh? an algorithm and, a, and an actual MATCAD uh, procedure on how to reduce uh, this matrix into an upper triangular matrix. So the given uh, uh, global variables are the matrix A, which is the augmented uh, uh, matrix, and the, of course, from here, the number of uh, rows uh, is defined uh, by the number of uh, norms no? and the number of equations are actually in terms of the global variables, so the, glo the global variables are those which are defined uh, outside a program loop and they are applicable uh, throughout the uh, premise of the worksheet of the MATCAD uh, environment. So before we proceed with the uh, actual program, let's uh, have uh, an algorithm, it's a, st a strategy, no? I, I use the word strategy to, to define the set of procedures uh, or steps needed to come up with your objective of uh, finding the, the tri upper triangular uh, form of the system of equations. So we begin with the uh, the definition of the loops that we are going to to use no? uh, first the, the J loop uh, which is actually a a uh, an iterative uh, uh, process that will capture you know, the, the pivot row uh, which involves, of course, the, the value of the of the uh, uh, diagonal. Okay, so we start with the, the initialization of the uh, loop uh, J, and we call this the uh, the, the pivot no? or the pivot row J, uh, starting from one to n minus one. Okay, so meaning to say that. Here in this uh, first pivot row, we have this as your first pivot, this is your second pivot, so this is actually defines the diagonal, okay? So here, we don't need to use the third pivot since uh, there are no uh, other equations below uh, uh, row 3, no? So, or equation 3. So this is actually your, your row 1, your row 2, and your row 3, which represents the number of equations and the number of uh, unknown variables. So we only have to, to uh, initialize the range from 1 to 1 less than the number of uh, equations. So this is j equals 1 to n minus 1. So it simply starts with 1 and ends at 2. Okay. So after which we also need a loop to capture uh, the succeeding. Okay. So this is to capture the, the pivot row here. This is to capture the succeeding row below. 
the pivot. Okay, so the succeeding row is actually the row of concern, which uh, involves now your uh, operation of transformation. So the elementary operation will actually start with the succeeding row under or below the pivot. So it starts from J plus 1 up to the last row N. Okay? So upon considering now these two uh, steps, we are ready to define the multiplier which was defined earlier in my previous uh, video to be the ratio of your a cell, okay, or the array A, I, J, which is, okay, the, the value directly under the pivot, okay. Okay, so I, J now is the, the, uh, the succeeding row, which is the row of uh, concern, and the row in which the operation will be done. Okay, so it's actually uh, directly under the pivot row. So this multiplier is now this value, okay, divided by the value at the pivot. So this is now the. Uh, value of 4 here. So if, you, if we look into this figure, your, your multiplier for row 2 is simply a 2 1 over a 1 1, which is simply negative 3 over 4. Okay, and your multiplier for a 3 1 over a 1 1 is simply 1 over 4. So these are the multipliers that we are computing in this particular step. And uh, since we are now ready to do the first cycle, okay, so we are now ready to do the first cycle, we start now the row operation or the row transformation by initializing, of course, your k value, another counter that will capture now the columns. Okay, so k now are simply the columns starting from 1 to 3, okay? So k is equal to 1 to, uh, I'm sorry, uh, since there's an augmented uh, portion here, your k counter must have a plus 1 there, okay? So it ends at 4 here. So there's a slight correction on the algorithm. And uh, the, we know that from our formula on top, what we're doing is we are just trying to, okay, to take the row upon which the operation is performed minus the multiplier multiplied by the row upon which the pivot was taken. So this is now R, uh, R2. So the pivot here is 2.5. That's why this is 0.5 over negative 2.5. So this is now the, the, the equivalent uh, algorithm here. SIK is row IK minus multiplier times row JK. And then we store it at a temporary storage S, row coefficient storage, and this will be used to update the matrix that will look back into a starting or not starting but the, to, to look back and proceed with the next j which is j equals 2 okay so we are counting j from 1 to 3 minus 1 or 2 and of course after updating the matrix we have to return it back uh, to the original matrix and overwrite it before proceeding with the next J loop. Okay, 
So the program is a very short, in MathCAD, is a very short uh, structured uh, nesting for loop. So I use here the for uh, loop, can use the, do, the while loop, uh, other loops can be done. Okay, so I simply use the for loop here. So for j equals 1 to n minus 1 and for i equals uh, j plus 1 to n. So I just define the counter here for the number of pivots and the counter for the number of rows to be transformed. I solve the, start solving the multiplier and I initialize again another counter to capture the number of columns to, per, to operate on. So s is aik minus multiplier times ajk is up to the uh, step uh, step 1.1.2 uh, here okay so which actually uh, stores your your uh, operation the result of the operation into a temporary storage s and then update it on the matrix aik and return it okay to a matrix b so that it will not be lost no uh, because uh, it will be overwritten on the succeeding loop okay so doing so uh, we can test this program and find out uh, uh, later no? uh, if the the uh, uh, resulting okay the resulting uh, upper triangular matrix will be the same as uh, obtained here in the manual computation uh, using the procedure of the Gaussian elimination. Thank you very much for listening and uh, I'll see you on the next video.